So I want to follow up on something you brought up too when we we're talking about the college experience. And you were saying, you know, obviously if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or something mm -hmm. like that, that yes, you obviously have to have that mm -hmm. educational piece of it. But certain acumen, like you were talking about business management, you might not have to uh, go to college for that. And you said there are other ways that you can learn uh, or teach yourself those same things. Mm -hmm. If you had to do some of that, what, what would you be? Would it just be reading books, YouTube, um, private courses? What, what, so would you I will that? say like this generation, we have a lot of pri we have a lot of people that just pri like you said, private courses. TikTok is probably one of the most biggest networks going on right now that you can even think of. You can learn so much off of TikTok and like as a older person, you'll be like, learning stuff off of TikTok. TikTok what do you mean you learn stuff? Like that's just an app that you people sit there and laugh at. Like that's what you mean. But in reality you really have people that's on there educating people about a lot of stuff beyond just laughing, dancing, cooking. Like people you have actually people that's on there doing uh realtor classes you have people on there doing airbnb classes you have people doing um accounting classes you have people really doing a lot of like how to start your own business from the ground up to the point where you're at your llc and you're getting all these um your ipn your epn and everything else like you have people that's actually on there doing what like doing what you what you go to school for but just putting it on social media to where it's access to everyone and you're only paying this small portion of a fee mm -hmm. and yeah some people might you, you might feel like well how am i supposed to know that these people even know what they're talking about as you continue to watch videos you're going to slowly be able to know if somebody knows what they're, they're talking, talking about, about or sure. if they're just talking in circles like you're going to know and then if you're doing your own research and you know that this is what you want to do certain things are going to line up to what they're saying also so it's just like okay well i heard this already before before. Oh, I heard this already before. Oh, I know that. Oh, I know that. And it's just like if everything is lining up and you feel like that you know what they're talking about, why not take that course and do what you have to do to um get to where you're going? Um, like I said, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and that's why I also say, like, with our generation, we are very technology, like we are very technology based. We on our phones 24-7. And It'd be a good thing, but also it could be a bad thing. But I will say that social media does help in a lot of certain ways. Like you can, like for me, I'm a hairstylist, so I can be on social media and be like, okay, well, I can just be sitting there scrolling through my phone, and I can see a a style that I always that, that I've never seen before. Boom! They automatically put an image or a a, a a a plan in my head that I want to like. Let's say I want to do that, or Let's say I wanted to create that same exact style. Now I'm in the predicament. I'm like, okay, well, I need to find a person that I can do this on. Okay, I found somebody to do it on. Now I can project my work onto her so I can post it. And it can, I can basically show the world that I can do the same thing as somebody else. Mm -hmm. And just as good as they can also. And being able to promote my business is, um, in a different way. Because, like, okay, not everybody might have seen that hairstyle. So why not be able to do, do it? Do so? Yeah, absolutely. So I think you made a very important point that a lot of people overlook because obviously, as you said, social media mm -hmm. and everything, everybody thinks it's cat videos and people mm -hmm. doing dances and stuff like that, which it is. A, mm -hmm. a lot of that is out there. But it just like, it really social media. And I think what some of the old heads like me need to get our head around is it's a tool. And just like any tool, it can be used either for positivity and, and, and finding things, educating yourself or it can just be simple entertainment, mm -hmm. right? And so it's all about how you approach it. So it's very interesting that you positioned it that way to say that you could really go out and educate yourself uh, with, the, like you said, the YouTube and, and social media, mm -hmm. things like Facebook and Instagram, TikTok. Uh, TikTok obviously being one of the newer ones, and I think, for, especially for the, the previous generations, that's outside of it being entertainment-based, that's just a thought I never even considered. Because obviously YouTube obviously has a ton mm -hmm. of things like what we're doing right now uh, on, on, on YouTube, but I never thought of TikTok in that way. So that's interesting to know that there are people on TikTok who are not just doing 60 second videos mm -hmm. on, you know, watching the cat dance or something like that. So um, <laughs> They're definitely on there doing podcasts, doing classes, like you'll be surprised. Like I feel like TikTok watches you out too. They also they like they know what you like they know what you don't like and that one thing I will say is a scary 
kind of thing because it's just like you could be talking about something or you could be looking up and something saying, oh, I wanted to do this and I want to do this. And then as soon as you get on TikTok, boom, it's right there. It's in right front there. Of you. Right and you like with me, it was a couple of times where I had been saying that, you know, I wanted to get into the uh, Airbnb business. I get on TikTok. <laughs> it's multiple videos back to back talking about Airbnb businesses and how to start it off or uh, one, a, a way to become a social influencer, being able to just like, it's so many different videos and stuff out there. And it, like you said, it is beyond just laughing and entertainment. It's actually like people actually be putting knowledge into a lot of people's head. And I, I like that because it's just like, I don't, TikTok University, that's all I can say. And a lot of people say, a lot of people have went to TikTok University and they like uh, have made a lot of money in the past couple of years since TikTok has came out and it just helped put them on different ideas and everything like that because I really didn't get the idea to do vending machine or Airbnb business until I was on TikTok and I just seen a lot of, you know, good reports about it and mm -hmm. how good the um, income is without really having to do a whole lot of work and just being able to start different businesses uh that don't really require a lot of time it just requires for you to think smart and do what you have to do and get it done get it done never heard that term before TikTok university but i think that is <laughs> awesome so <laughs> mindset shift for those of us who kind of think it's just you know as i said cat videos and people dancing uh you can truly educate yourself and, and learn about a specific niche that you might want to get into as she said airbnb and how to run an airbnb business or She's she's also thinking about getting into uh, a vending machine business, and so she's learning all of those different things, uh, believe it or not, on TikTok of all places. Mm -hmm. So that, that's that's a, a great thing to hear. And again, that's as I said, just wanted to kind of bring this to everyone's attention, just the thought process that they have, because it is a tool, and they're just using it differently than we think they're using it. Because in our minds, we see you know a twenty year old on the phone, and in our minds, they got they're looking at you know funny videos and this, that, and the other thing, and possibly using it totally differently based on whatever searches they've done and what their true interests are. Uh, and you mentioned the last piece of it that I want to bring up, the money that people are making, mm -hmm. uh, not just as, because uh, uh, it used to be, social media used to be, uh, and I'm going to use the term, influencer. You know, that's mm -hmm. what everybody wanted to be. I want to be a social media influencer, right? And so it was more like a popularity contest than anything. But I think what people have found out is, yes, that influence also has dollar signs attached mm -hmm. to it, right? Uh, and that's the other piece that we need to, to really start to understand. It's not just the popularity contest. You can leverage that if you use it right, again, because it is a tool, and actually make uh, a decent income 